Okay, uh, I'm back with more testing. Um, the cell is set up now with a, uh, a winding, which is not hooked up. The wires are just here. I, I haven't got any power hooked up to that. What I did is I took some uh, neodymium uh, cylinder magnets. They're diametrically magnetized. I went ahead and put a, a ring of them around there to induce a little bit of a, a magnetic field. Um, and also, I'm using a neodymium gold-coated um, ball magnet sphere. And I've got that hooked to a drill bit. And then I've got the drill bit insulated with heat shrink. Now, what I wanted to show is an interesting effect that I noticed as soon as I turn this on. Now I'm going to go ahead and turn it on and you can see for yourself what's going on. If you notice the bubbles are swirling around clockwise around the cathode. Now if you watch the other videos you don't see this action and if I take the magnet strip off of there it still does the same thing. So my thinking is that the magnetism in the ball is actually uh, causing the electrons to spin around the ball since it is magnetic. Um, Alright, I'm back with uh, testing again. I've got the scale set on 50, so I'm reading about 25 volts there. I believe I blew up my transformer. There was a loud pop earlier, a couple of them. I thought it was a rectifier, but I'm pretty sure now that it was a transformer because I wasn't getting any readings from the voltage. Um, you can see the swirl that's set up. I'm, I'm running like 25 volts right now. I'm not getting any kind of plasma formation yet, but when I test the gas, that is some amazing gas, my friends. For the bubbles that are coming out of there, the strength of that gas right now is tremendous. I want to say I have created a lot of hydrogen over the years and this is some of the best hydrogen I've ever made. I'm really happy with this kind of production. As you can see that is way more volatile than any hydrogen that I have created from it. Now we definitely got the 60 hertz hum in there. Wow. Now it's starting to put out. I'm going to have to back up a little bit, I think. This thing's starting to really scare me. That little plastic container. Uh, it's just not nearly adequate. When you're getting up above 200 degrees, it's really dangerous. That scalding water, if I got enough burns, I guess you can tell here, that's a nice burn I got on my finger there. Oh, and by the way, I broke my foot on my neighbor's dog yesterday, so I am limping a little bit. Hopefully he's hurting today too. I know my dog is. I hate pit bulls. Okay, the humming is still going on, but it's not quite as strong. But the uh, the tiny bubbles are gone, and now we've got the big bubbles. And I'm going to go ahead and test that. You should be able to hear it without me turning this camera. I hate to say it, but that sounds like normal hydrogen. Before, we, were, we had some super hydrogen. But we keep into account the last time it was rotating to the right, and this time it's rotating to the left. It's about the same electrolyte solution. It's not a matter of voltage. Nothing else has changed. Test it again. 
Well, maybe it's not. I mean, that's smaller bubbles coming out now, but those tiny bubbles that are coming out are pretty violent, so I won't say that it's not the same hydrogen. We're at 202 degrees. I still have yet to see any kind of glow on that cathode. We're at 2.3 amps, which is not bad. Uh, 75 volts running 268 watts. So, I guess I'll turn up the voltage some more since we're not getting the glow. Up to three amps. Still not seeing any kind of, uh, oh, there's a spark. Okay, okay, that's getting better. Starting to see sparks down in there. It's hard to see, but they're there. They're starting to form. But there is blue and purple um, forming around the ball. I'll, I'll inspect the ball after I take it out to see what kind of uh, damage that's been done. But uh, it is it is forming plasma. There's a definite rotation in there, not as much as there was before. Doesn't seem, but it's still rotating. All right. I knocked the magnet off. Oh, that magnet is just nasty looking. Plasma just disassembled the coating on it. Well, that's what experiments are for, right? Let's have a look at it. Ooh, that's pretty nasty. But it shows something which I think might be kind of interesting um, I'll have, a, have you look at this this is the magnet now I'm sorry but my camera will not focus very well on things close up so it's gonna be really hard for me to show you what happened to the magnet but if you look there's pitting and it's around the circumference of the, the magnet. It's in a straight line. And, and it's not exactly a straight line. It's a spherical, sort of higher up on one side where they should be meeting in a perfect line. They're actually offset a little bit around the equator of the North Pole. So the North Pole is where I've got it suspended from right now with my pliers. This is the North Pole. The equator is what was setting up the spin. That would be east-west and the east-west um, equator of the magnet is chewed up pitted pitted pretty deep actually so uh, doesn't look like um, the magnet of course there is neodymium below that but whatever's behind the neodymium is what's showing so it, it went through both layers of plating and got into the magnet prop. Okay, and while I'm while I'm here, I'll show the other. This is the uh, ball bearing that I've been using, and the ball bearing has some some surface scars, but other than that, it it looks fine. You can see where it's been uh, burning. You know, you can see little arcs, little dots all over the bottom edge of it. But other than that, uh, the it looks fine. 